Hello everyone, this is Aman and today I will be showing you how to make your jQuery Ajax filter with PHP and MySQL. So first let me show you a demo. So here I have this a table and a filter from which I can select either all employees, intern or temporary. And uh, first let me show you my database. Uh, this is my database tutorial and table staff which consists of all the information that I need and uh, yes uh, I've opened this project in Visual Studio Code and we will be coding right now so first uh, let's start with fetch.php so first we will check if uh, the get variable is empty or not Say filter. So in such a case, filter would be equal to filter, and uh, trim is a function to remove the white spaces from the string that is from the right as well as the left, and uh, and we will only proceed if the get. Uh, variable is empty on is not empty so first we will create a connection that is mysqli connect the first parameter is the uh, host here in this in this case is localhost the next is username and the password well uh, I do not have any password so I will leave it as empty and the next is the database is tutorial now and now we will check the value of the filter so uh, if filter value is equal to all in such a case our query will be different select all from staff or else from staff where the type type is equals to the filter so uh, basically here I am using prepared statements in order to avoid any SQL injections and later on we will uh, bind the parameter so here I have uh, bind the parameter so this s represent strings and this is basically the value we want to uh, uh, bind so if there are two or more filters like um, filter 1 or filter 2 in, uh, in such a case uh, we need to add uh, the string as well so in case in two variable it would be s s etc so now we can uh, move on to the next step that would be execute and statement store result next step is to uh, bind the result so in such a case it would be the first is ID first name last name and type so F name L name and type so here goes a while loop statement fetch okay so what we can do is uh, we will create an array so uh, here I'm uh, 
creating a variable which is which will be an array and uh, say each is equals to an array push function to uh, push it to the final array final and we want to push each so after we can just print it final and we can finally close the connection as well as statement So now, now let's run it. Filters would be all. So here it is. So I need to remove this. And yes, here it is. Here is the data we want. So if uh, say filter I want the intern. And here is the data. So now, what we will do uh, now is we will JSON encode uh, encode the data. So JSON encode and it will print in the uh, JSON array. So now we will move on to the uh, script uh, as we need to insert into our table so um, first thing we'll do is the hx call you all would be uh, fetch.php with the filter all and uh, type would be get and success would be uh, a callback function so first we will uh, printing into the con uh, console to check if it is uh, working or not So here's the data we want, but it is in a string form, so we need to encode in the JSON format. So, uh, so I'll just remove it and uh, not remove it, but I'll create a variable that is equal to D and uh, JSON dot parse data. So here is the data. So now we need to insert into our table. So we will create a function. So uh, let's name it create list. And we'll take the parameter as data. So first uh, we are selecting the table. That would be with the ID table. and we will create an another function that is table head and we will append some data so first we will creating a, an element that is td and the text would be ID and we will repeat it four times as we have four columns. Uh, so here will be first 
नेम लास्ट नेम एंड द टाइप एंड टेबल डॉट एंड फाइनली वी कैन अपेंड इट टू द टेबल डॉट अपेंड टेबल हेड एंड नाउ वी क्रिएट अ फॉर लूप एज फॉर द रिकॉर्ड्स सो वीबल एक्स इन डेटा वी विल हेव क्रिएट इन अ टेबल रो एंड दी आर डॉट अपेंड सेम गोज ओवर हेयर आई कैन जस्ट copy it over here and paste it instead it would be uh, data start uh, id and will here will be the f name and the type So first, uh, before uh, creating the list, we just need to uh, empty the table if is there is any data there or not. So, HTML will this will clear the data, and we are good to go. So here we will call the function that is create. now the reason for doing this uh, tedious work is to avoid any xss vulnerability as it will uh, print this uh, the field or the name in a simple plain text format so now let's try to run it it refresh and here we have the data Just let me. Um, yes, I just need to remove. Just need to create th, and uh, yeah, <coughs> tr. And uh, instead of this td, uh, it would be th. I'm sorry for the silly mistake. <coughs> so here is the data so now what we need to do is to uh, create an event handler for this filter that is in turn it won't work right now so uh, basically this is my filter <coughs> and we will create an on uh, change so i just copy it over here and the filter would be value and uh, we can just copy this hx script over here and just paste it over here so uh, the difference would be we just need to replace this all with the filter and that's all now we can just run it let me uh, close this console let's select intern and here all the data with all the records with the type intern comes up or if i switches to the temp or employee or basically all well this was a very quick and easy tutorial on ajax filter table so if you like this video do hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this so and thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye